Now then, welcome to Chaos Theory with Thrak and Nemson. Hey, hi, let me go F5. Hey, hey, oh, 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 there we go, there we go. <laughs> stay still, stay still. We are in a brand new world on its own little server. And I have paid close attention to the last episode of The Resurrection on Utopia where everybody was asked to leave comments saying what um, single digit or single letter of the alphabet they would like put into the seed. And I've carefully collated the list and placed it into the server properties file and this is what you guys have given us. Spawn is just this little mountain over here. Horrible, horrible, horrible spawn. But at least it's not a lava pool, eh, Thrak? At least it's Indeed. not a lava pool. <laughs> shh, shh. They don't need to know about that. Come on. <laughs> you, you were hoping for a lava pool with all the cues. There were actually nine cues in the comments. Yeah. Nine people wanted to give you exactly what you wanted with Q, I, Q, Q. They, they love me. They definitely love me. Yeah. I'm lovable. Well, at least those nine did. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Uh, you may notice that things are slightly different in this world. Uh, one of the things Chaos Theory is doing is playing around in a modded 1.8 Minecraft environment. So the latest forge using 1.8 Minecraft and the mods from 1.8 Minecraft are here. It's a completely different game. It's a, well, yeah, it's kind of the same. But <laughs> it's interesting to see the new mods in action, or at least the updates of the mods in action. I mean, uh, we've got lots of nice places to see and visit. I've generally got a decent amount of world generated and you're killing koi carp <laughs> well they do drop fish so it's a good idea bang 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 come on stay outside <laughs> stick come on he's trying to get back into the water you keep punching him out did i get him yeah i got him you got <laughs> him did you get the fish two good. fish from there yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. oh we've got to be careful over here but we uh we kind of need that outcropping of materials over there We've got the Koi Carp from uh, Whoopi, Whoopi29, Koi Carp from Whoopi29, which Thrak just murdered to get his fish for his supper before the sun goes down. Uh, we should probably punch some trees, just very Ooh. quickly, because the sun's going down. Uh, you've got Ooh. a bit of wool from all these sheep we've been killing to eat mutton. Uh, I need one more to make two beds. Okay, well, we'll quickly get bed on the go so that we can quickly... <laughs> Quickly sleep the night away so we don't have to worry too much. There. I got wood. I got wood. Shh, there are kids watching, man. <laughs> so the <laughs> chaos theory behind this is that we are starting with a seed generated basically by the viewers. I got some more wood here. Make stuff. <laughs> generally, starting with the basics of a mod pack it's not a mod pack i'm not calling it a mod pack it's a bunch of mods thrown together that are 1.8 updated mods and we've got a very simple list of a few basic mods here that we are using to basically get started on this series and all of the really cool mods from 1710 are still waiting to be updated. We can break these beds, can we? Take this with us. And we will be adding them in whatever sort of order they seem to come out in. And that's going to be fairly chaotic for this playthrough. The series will have an element of chaos thanks to that. Should we make some swords? Yeah. Yeah, good plan. I'm going to I'm going to grab my own wood this time. Uh, this overhanging tree foliage thing that you see is uh well it's something i've seen before in 710 but it's something fairly fairly cool to add into your game just adds a little spiky extra little bits it's called better foliage it adds extra bits on the grass so it's a little extra graphic on grass you can't actually break them you break the grass it's not like the tall grass that you can break it's just sort of 
giving everything a little more foliage, extra foliage. It's quite cool. And so all the leaves on the trees seem to hang, and you also get a little downfall of leaves from the trees. Uh, the better foliage mod is by Octa Octarain Noise, I think that's what it's called. You just kill them big lizards. You are my hero. They drop raw beef. That's good as well, isn't it? That's nice to know. Right, I guess. Why not? Yeah. I'll get the benchmark in as well. And gear pick. Have you got a, a pick already? Uh, I wouldn't want. Okay. Do you want hey, to okay. okay. grab cobblestone and I will uh, steal it from you? I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh. You're not dying from a simple reptilian. Cow tipper. <laughs> <laughs> you got counted before it. Nice. <laughs> I um, I have one heart and one uh, food left. Well, we've got cobblestone and coal, so we can make a furnace and cook that fish. There's plenty of fish around in there. This better foliage also makes these things on top of water. Uh, we've got other stuff like these reeds and things, which you've probably seen before. They're from the plant mega pack, mega pack even. So lots and lots of world generation is currently on the server and in our little pack here. Uh, do you potentially have three bits of cobble spare? Uh, one only. Oh, chuck, Take as it. Your, chuck as your wooden pick then and I'll get us some cobble for making some cobble uh, stone tools. There you go. Thank you very much. And then we get on to having all this iron and stuff. These little outcroppings are so useful early game Pro possibly cheaty useful early game but they're not that much use later on in the game so it's pretty good having them but it's yeah i took them out of the uh, age of adventure mod pack because i thought they were a bit too cheaty having them like that but it's still it's cool there's a pick for you sir thank you kind sir uh, I'm having a little bit of lag. I tried eating one steak and I actually ate two of them. Well, you greedy uh, pig. Yeah, I know. Uh, take take from the furnace. Oh, Thank yes. You. Yep. You're doing mutton. Mm -hmm. That's a new experience for me. Mutton from sheep. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's a, it's a good thing in 1.8. That you can get an extra thing from sheep. It's quite a raw quite... haggis. Okay. Oh yes, we got the haggis mod. Mm. That's a that's a new one on me. I haven't seen it out before. I saw it in the list for 1.8, and I thought, yeah, we get that a go. Why not something else for sheep? How easy is it to make a haggis? We need one wheat, one mutton, and one uh, sheep stomach. St stomach. Is it? Uh, sheep stomach. Presumably, we've got to kill a load of sheep, and they randomly. Yeah, I have two from. of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got two already. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we need to find some wheat somewhere. Mm -hmm. That's not too hard either. I'm sure there'll be a ruin somewhere that's got a bit of wheat in it. Uh, we're not really planning on hanging about anywhere in particular long term, are we? Mm -hmm. we we're kind of just wandering about a bit and seeing what's around. We will build bases, and we will get into. Mods that have progression and things like that. Uh, yeah, I didn't break the gold. I'm breaking gold with a stone. Yeah, pick. it doesn't drop. Yeah. It doesn't work, does it? I forgot. Mm -hmm. I am such a noob. That's good. <laughs> good start, noob. Good start. And these fern things. I don't really want tons of fragrant ferns and things in my inventory to start us off. What's happening? Okay. Should we get like directly into some kind of dungeon or something like that? Let's have a look around, see what there is. You've got the mutton. Oh, I got a sheik's stomach as well from the Haggis mod. That's cool. I'm gonna pick up the uh, furnace. You've leveled it. There you go. Thank you. So pick a direction then, Thrak. <clears throat> What's the first thing that enters your mind? <laughs> um, north. North being uh, this way. Okay, let's go and see what's up here. You shouldn't ask so, such such questions. I'm all for chaos. <laughs> I am. Just, just, whatever. Flip a coin. 
Oh, was the what? first thing that enters my mind. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. What's this over here? What we got? This is another little ruin from the Atomic Strikers ruins mod. It doesn't actually have anything in it, so forget that one. Get all the sheep. Get in all the wool. Are we allowed to have like um? What do you say? Uh, grievances. I think that's a word against some of the mod authors grievances against mod authors why like um L like greg hating greg that's a grievance against greg yeah kind of like that kind of like that yeah, yeah, yeah well you're allowed to have them it's just yeah whether they're justified or not other people can make their own minds up can't they mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i have bio i have a deep like uh loving with quotation marks um, opinion about Mishu Atomic Striker. Atomic Strikers mods are... Um, like, for example, you have played with the uh, towers, right? Battle towers, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, How difficult was it for you to actually set up, uh, set them up? Set them up, as mm -hmm. in, in the configs and in the mod pack and stuff? Yeah, yeah, with all the different... Um, it, items and stuff like that. Yeah, it was uh, quite a bind to do it for the Age of Adventure. It's uh, they're not out out yet, so they're not in this. And I don't know if we need them really. They're they're okay, but they they kind of become very samey after a while, don't they? Uh, no, my problem is just with the setting up. I remember, uh, I think in Minecraft One Two Five, I was doing uh, a small mod pack for myself, and. I it, it just wouldn't allow uh, modded items. It only allowed vanilla items in the towers. Yeah. Uh, it got changed. That that became easier when vanilla Minecraft changed the way that they store the item IDs. It became easier. Mm -hmm. And uh, it still takes a little bit of time to figure figure out what you are actually supposed to put and where you're supposed to put it. Uh, but it's easy enough now that anybody should be able to get to grips with it and figure it out. See these little outcroppings? They're so cheaty, aren't they? Look at this. Hold just... on a minute, I just killed a rabbit. Oh, you've got a rabbit's foot. Uh, raw rabbit. No, no, no. Oh, at least you cooked a rabbit. Cook a rabbit. Grab a load of iron for this. There we go. Uh, another thing I would like to mention, uh, an idea I had about this series and how we can make the progression a little bit e even more chaotic than it might be, uh, waiting for mods to come out in the 1.8 versions, is when the mods come out in the 1.8 versions, asking the viewers to decide what gets added next. So we never really know what is going to be added to this bunch of mods <laughs> before the viewers have decided. And then we just have to work with it. For the record, I do not agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> For the record, you don't like the idea. No, 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 no. We'll, we'll still have to choose the mods that the viewers can pick from. I'll still have to make sure that it, they're physically possible to put them inside with all the other mods. I'm just gonna troll with you. If you're gonna do that, I'm going to throw, troll with you. <laughs> and have stuff like um, like lucky blocks and stuff like that. <laughs> lucky blocks. You're gonna ask for lucky blocks and see if the viewers want lucky blocks in. Well, you yeah. never know, they might. <laughs> and then that'll be complete chaos because you never know what you're gonna get from a lucky block, do you? And then activate them around you. <laughs> Just to see what goes on. I've got 20 iron in this furnace down here. Next to this little baby bunny. Hi little baby bunny, how you doing? Is it the white one with the red eyes? It is the albino freaky oh, one. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> We've also got a little brown one over here, cutie as well. Let me check if this one is the killer one. He's also white with... A killer one? Yeah, yeah, the one that's one in a hundred chance of spawning. The one that actually damages you. <laughs> the evil one. Oh dear. Oh, hello. 
Hello, Mr. S <laughs> Creeper's coming out to play. Ah. Well, it is night time as well, isn't it? Ah. Oh. Have him! Nope. Have him! No, don't let him blow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, well. Free dirt. Look at that. <laughs> free dirt. That's what we went digging with creepers. I'm going to sleep. And then I'm going to heal up a bit. And then we're going to explore some more. There's mountains over them. Sleep, there, sleep, hills. sleep. Sleep, I'm sleeping. Sleeping. Oh my Look god, the killer rabbit. It's coming for you. <laughs> I just saw it out of the color of my eye. I'm going to bounce on you. Right, well, we, until we've got iron tools, which we could make out of this first lot of iron, we can't really get the redstone and stuff, and there's hardly any more point getting anything out of there, is there? Maybe a better idea, make a bit of armor? Yeah, yeah, first of all, swords, make a swords. Good plan, so you can kill all the bunnies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make another furnace. Oh, 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 kill that, uh, kill that spider, if you can. Uh, yes, with a wooden sword. I can do it. Uh, where did he go? Oh, there he is. Hey, come back. Come back over here. Oh, I'm gonna have to parkour over to him. I am not afraid of you, silly spiders. Yeah. Oh, oh there's a creeper. Oh, man. There's a, there's a bit of a graphical glitch with 1.8. <laughs> Uh, I get it on the vanilla side of things as well. It's not a modded environment problem. You occasionally get blocks once they've been broken, not showing the textures properly, and so you can see through the world. How much? Uh, how much string do you have? I have two string. Oh, give me one. Give me one. I have the string. It's all yours. No, I just want one because apparently when you combine a string with a crafting table, you get a portable, portable crafting, crafting, table. crafting table. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, I'll have the other one then. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Also, if you put a crafting table in your crafting grid, you get a just another crafting table, crafting table. What? Yeah, made by our good friend Van Howe. Check this out. You just and basically convert it like you do a Tinker's Construct crafting table, and it keeps the items in it. Ah, okay, I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all it does, and that's good enough for me. Mm -hmm. so, so we've got those kind of crafting tables, plus we can make these portable crafting tables as well. Take it with you, yes. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, did, were you in that at the time? <laughs> were you throwing me cooked mutton? Yeah. Well, we've got a few bits and pieces. That's not a bad start, really, is it? The, the idea of the the group of mods that we've picked together so far is creating a nice looking world, a world with interesting places that we're about to go and explore, and also a few basic um, utility mods such as these crafting table mods and a few others that we'll be showing through the rest of this week. Uh, you should expect to see episodes all week between myself and Thrak on our two channels and you can follow along in the playlist below. Uh, I think that's it for episode one, Thrak. Mm hmm. We should head off into those, them, their mountains and uh, tune in tomorrow where we will adventure and explore some more. Mm hmm. Thank you all so much for watching the first episode of Chaos Theory. We'll see you very soon. I am Thrak. I am Nemson. Bye bye. Bye bye. Stay safe. And stay safe. Don't kill anybody. Now then. Bye. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye-bye.